Hi, my name's Jack. I work here at the Waitrose Cookery School in King's Cross. And today I'm going to show you how to sear a tuna steak, which is a great skill to add to your repertoire. And you can serve it with loads of different garnishes. So I've got some tuna here. This is a line caught in the Indian Ocean. It's a really, really lovely piece of tuna. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on there first. So I'll drizzle plenty over the fish and a little bit on the plate as well so I can turn it and evenly coat. And I'm going to add some salt and I'm going to use some black pepper as well. When you cook tuna like this, you actually want to oil and season the tuna itself, not the pan. And that way we'll get a really nice sear when it goes in the pan. I'm going to just coat this evenly in the salt and pepper and oil. So today I'm using a crepe pan. This is basically the heaviest frying pan that I've got. When you're cooking proteins like this, the thicker the base of the pan, the better, basically, because it can hold more heat. So place it on a high heat, no oil, leave it to preheat for at least five minutes. You can do a little test here to work out if the pan is really hot enough to sear the tuna. So what I'll do is just take one of the steaks and just with the very edge of the steak, just touch the pan. You can hear that little sizzle, so it's hot enough to sear the tuna. They're gonna cook for 15 seconds on each side. So the color that you get when you sear tuna, it won't go as golden as you might expect with a steak. And that is to do with the fat content. So if you cook a ribeye, there's a lot of fat that renders out and you get color from that. So now I'll work around the tuna and the outside edges. This will just take literally seconds. With tuna, I don't normally rest it in the same way you would a steak. It doesn't require the same amount of time to relax. So this really out the pan and we'll start slicing it straight away to serve it. Because it's such large muscle, you can actually see the grain of the meat really easily. So what I always explain to people, the best way to teach them is to get them to line their knife up with the grain. And you now go against the grain. So you just turn your tuna or your knife 90 degrees. So now when you slice the tuna, you're actually breaking it into the most tender possible form. And you can see it's nice and rare. So just the very edge of the tuna is actually cooked. The middle is still nice and rare. I'm going to fan this on the plate and then drizzle some ponzu sauce on. And I've mixed it with some sesame oil and some fresh ginger. And I'm also going to garnish it with some spring onion and some sesame seeds. So this is how to properly sear a tuna steak. And it's also a lovely thing to be able to show off to people when you cook for them.